We would be concerned about how well our brother and our sister is doing in the community. That we would care about each other. We would look out for each other. And when we see a young person going astray, do not let them get to the end of the rope. Try and pull them back before it is too late. Linnell was a loving young man. I don't think anybody in this community and, and the overwhelming support that the family have received is an indication that Linnell was a respectable and loved young man in this community. And so, that is why we are here in large numbers. I know he had a lot of friends. I don't ever recall Linnell being involved in an argument, a confrontation, or even disrespecting anybody. I'm not saying he never did it. I'm saying in all my interactions with him, I never saw that side. He was always somebody, and if you had a community, you would hear more good things than you would hear bad things about him. Did he deserve that? Not at all. Nobody, no matter how bad they are, deserves that kind of an outcome or end to their life. And so, let us all take responsibility for our actions. Let us make our contribution to making our community, our homes, and our country a better place. Governments come and governments go, but we are here to stay. This is our home. This is our community. And so I am appealing to everyone in this community, let us revisit where we are and let us do things differently so that as the memory of Linnell lives on, we can safely say that this became a turning point to making Forest here a better community than it is today. Thank you, good night, and God bless you. I've been requested to offer a prayer, which I will gladly do. So I will ask everyone to assume a posture of prayer. Our loving Heavenly Father, with grateful hearts we bow in your presence. Even if it is a sad moment, we know that you are God. And you have said that you would not allow anything to befall us that you would not provide the grace and the strength to go through it. And I know the Gustav family is hurting, is hurting tonight. No matter what we say, oh God, nothing can fill that void. Nothing can take away the pain and the sadness of losing a loved one. But God, we know that you sent your only son to die. And even as God, you understand what it is to lose somebody that you really love because you sent Jesus to die. May you comfort the entire Gustav family, the extended family, the friends and loved ones of Linnell. May you give them grace and strength tonight that they may realize that we have an opportunity to change our community and to make it better as a result of what has happened. We pray for this entire community. We pray for every other person who's not from the community, but came to give their support to the Gustav family and turn to show their support to put an end to violence in our country. Lord, we cannot do it by ourselves. Only through your grace and the power of your Holy Spirit, this can happen in this community and in our country. And so we ask for your intervention in every home, in every individual's life, and in our country, that at the end of the day, we can say that we are truly living in a peaceful and blessed paradise. May you continue to bless. May you continue to watch. May you continue to keep us. And Lord, we pray for those who are contemplating crime. Those who even committed this crime, that they may come forward and confess and turn from their wicked ways. That Lord, the person who is contemplating the next gun they will draw 
and the next knife or the next weapon to take the life or hurt somebody else, may your spirit intervene. May your holy angels come between them and that person and may you stop it from happening. But Lord, we know as long as sin persists, evil will be here. But we pray that you would preserve and keep each one of us. Preserve us from harm, from danger, and most of all, help us to set our record straight with you, O God, that when the judgment will come, we will all hear from you. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. This is our prayer and our asking in Jesus' name. And at this moment, if you still have your candle or the light from your phone, you can put it up. We're going to have a moment of silence.
a little youth used to hang up on the corner Me and you and I'm a friend and we are on some marijuana I don't know how we never grew up with no father Still we have to try the best to make it cross the border But some boys show them big like all Kogan Come and chat, tell them we know this is no God We prep for death before we take program We no grow around, no, we no build for our own we miss you